Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we shall discuss a topic which it's very difficult to quote from the scriptures like Riyat Parashar Hora Shastra or I've also not seen uh, many other astrologers teaching this. So if you watch this video, then this will be from pure experience, which I've gained in last one or two decades. <laughs> I've made certain observations which I will share, but please take it with a grain or maybe a teaspoon of salt, <laughs> which means you have to be very uh, careful when you make this judgment. And most of the times it is good if you leave this to the client himself or herself. And you do not say this unless uh, the client exclusively asks you regarding this. Okay, so what's the topic today? Today's topic is which city uh, or state or country will I be successful in? Mm -hmm. Interesting question. <laughs> now, uh, what, what happens is many times people think, oh, they think you are running Saturn Mahadasha, for example, and your Saturn is good, for example. Then they think, oh, you'll be successful in the West. Go to the West. So if you are in India, then West can mean Europe or US or anything. But what if I go to Australia? <laughs> is it still West or is it East of India? How do you decide that? You may say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know Australia is in the East of India. But then uh, Vietnam is also in the East. Thailand is also in the East. So... It's very difficult to quote from a geographical location perspective, what is good or bad. So if Saturn or Rahu is there, it doesn't mean that if you go to the West only then you'll be successful. It doesn't mean like that. It can mean many, many there are so many indications which can be there. But then even if you go to the West, suppose you come to US or you come to Germany, then within Germany where? I mean. You cannot just come to Germany, right? You have to come to a city like I stay here in Ingolstadt. So where do you go? You have to land up somewhere, right? So therefore, these are very difficult queries which some clients ask sometimes. All right, so let's share my experience today. And as usual, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it below. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your career or marriage or health, Whichever area, you can also go to my website down below, exoticastrology.in. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him irrespective of the location. And uh, now the thing is, uh, see, you have to understand the nature of the planets. And I'll say some certain things here. Um, and by that, I would declare, give a disclaimer that, I'm not being judgmental when I say certain things uh, here. Uh, this is from the current perspective, 2020, where I'm living in. Okay, world would have been different when it was uh, 100 years back. And the world may be different when we go after 100 years. So what I'm telling you now is from 2020's perspective. All right. And as usual, you know, in every time sphere, uh, every time zone, as they say, na, epoch, they say. <laughs> Not a very good word, but there is categorization of, you know, uh, developing countries, there's developed countries, and there's underdeveloped countries. So if you consider 2020, uh, you will see some countries are classified as developed countries. Some countries are classified as developing countries. Some countries are underdeveloped. So maybe some countries which are developing today can become developed tomorrow. Or somebody who is developed can also become uh, developing. Okay. That can happen. So now I won't go by uh, all this, you know, statistics and all that. You do. You decide which you think is a developed country, which is developing. All right. Because if I do that, then people will start fighting. How do you say my country is developing? My country is developed country. Okay. So it's up to you which you consider. But as per astrology, the natural benefits, Jupiter, Mercury, Venus, you could take moon also, you could take sun, moon, sun, moon also, I would say. And to some extent, you can also take Mars, but let's keep Mars aside as of now. Jupiter, Mercury, moon, Venus and sun. Okay, These five planets, 
they will represent the developed countries and the uh, planets like saturn rahu ketu especially they might represent underdeveloped countries or they can uh, also represent developing countries and uh, these 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 planets jupiter mercury venus and sun moon they can represent they can also represent uh, developing countries but they will represent cities or states which are developed within that uh, developing country okay because it will always happen i mean that uh, it will never happen that every state in a developing country is like developing okay some states will be developed some will be developing some will be underdeveloped also within one same country so basically um, if you want to keep aside geography and geopolitics then the natural benefits will indicate places which are uh, which where there is more prosperity there is you know more um, there are more opportunities basically that's the word i would say opportunity so do not go by this list you know india is a developing country china is a developing country us is a developed country or whatever today india may be developing tomorrow it may become developed or it may become underdeveloped anything can happen right so just understand this wherever there are more opportunities now the thing is opportunities for what okay so if in somebody's horoscope there is um, now now let's forget about the malefic and benefic thing now let's talk of uh, areas so for example if you talk of career if a person's horoscope is very strong for creativity now that's a separate topic how do you find that that's not the topic of today's video but suppose you find it the horoscope is very strong for creativity that is the first thing you have to do you have to check which are the strong points in the horoscope if you do not do that then it's useless so the so then you can tell the client that my dear sir my dear madam your horoscope is very good for creativity now you have to check are the planets which are good for creativity suppose there are three four planets among them how many of them are indicating the, are the natural benefits so suppose a uh, man he has uh, jupiter uh, saturn rahu okay uh, three planets very good for creativity and the rest of the planets are average so overall the horoscope is positive for creativity then you have to tell the person that you can go to a developed state or to a developed country to pursue your creative interests provided the dasha of that planet is running because now here what's happening is um, there's only one planet jupiter which is indicating uh, good creativity and the other two which are indicating their natural malefics like saturn and rahu okay but now what happens if the person runs jupiter mahadasha then it is possible that if the person goes to a foreign land or uh, to a developed country i mean and uh, or within uh, within the same country to a state or a city which is very developed then it can be very good for the person but suppose it happens that there are five six planets which indicate good creativity and then uh, among them three of them are natural benefits like jupiter mercury venus or sun like this then what happens is um, you can tell the person that um, it is always good for you irrespective of the dashas to stay because uh, these natural benefits will give you and when i say natural benefits i would consider sun as a benefic in this case because sun represents royalty and big things okay like uh, the royal stuff basically so in this case sun will be a benefic okay of course it won't give you easily in that context it's a malefic okay but in case of opportunities sun moon both are benefics do not forget that the sun gives light okay so nobody should say that sun is a malefic in this case when it comes to opportunities but now suppose the person uh, has a very good chart for creativity or um, and uh, there are four planets and among the four uh, three of them are uh, saturn rahu ketu then what happens then you have to tell the person that you necessarily won't be successful if you go to a developed country or to a developed state you can stay where you are so suppose the person is from an underdeveloped country and the person uh, says okay i have uh, you know saturn rahu ketu are very good for creativity and i want to start some fashion designing business of course so then uh, do i need to shift to a developed country then you have to say no it's not required because 
uh, these these natural malefics are giving and natural malefics will uh, they have a tendency to keep you in places where there may not be uh, many opportunities okay now this does not mean that you won't be successful but there's a big difference between uh, being successful in the dasha of a natural malefic or the dasha of a natural benefic. There's like huge differences. It's not even comparable. Now, where you will be confused is suppose you have a bad Jupiter and a good Saturn, then you will be confused because then you will rise more in Saturn dasha than in Jupiter. Okay, but suppose you have a good Jupiter and a good Saturn, then the difference will be noticeable. Okay, so. The malefics will give you bad ambience and benefics will give you good ambience. So that's the difference between benefics and malefics. So therefore, um, it's the same. Like uh, one of my friend, he he was running Jupiter Dasha actually. Okay, and then what happened? He uh, came to Frankfurt. And what is Frankfurt known for? Frankfurt in Germany is. It's like the headquarters for uh, banks and all the financial services, you know, accounts and all this. So Jupiter by default represents all of these. Okay? But the thing is your Jupiter has to be good to come to such a place. Just because you have Jupiter Dasha running or Antar Dasha, you cannot, if you are in Europe, you cannot just shift to Frankfurt. It won't work like that. Okay? But if your Jupiter is good, then within Germany, Frankfurt is a very good place to move into. Or there's another exception. If you're not running Jupiter Dasha and your horoscope is supportive for finances, then you can move to the finance capital of Germany or they say finance capital of Europe, which is Frankfurt. So that is how you decide where you can go. So do not go by some serious stereotype things. You know, Saturn is West, so I will go to the West. But then... Uh, where I mean, you cannot just go to the west. You know, you have to land up to a place, right? So this is how you know. Actually, this is how you can analyze uh, how things can turn out for you. Okay. And as I said, uh, this is very subjective to my own experience. And if you are applying this, you can apply. I have seen this works wonderfully in many cases. Okay. So, for example, I said about uh, creativity. So. If you are in India, then you can move to a city which is known for creativity or whatever I mean, that you can figure out which specific area you are interested in, fashion and designing and all this. Or if you are into, you know, like management or business, then you can move to an area where there's a <coughs> the business is more. Okay. Uh, but uh, you have to check if natural benefits are agreeing to that because uh, if the natural benefits do not agree, then uh, and if you are staying in an underdeveloped or developing place, then you don't have to necessarily, you know, throw off your home and you have to leave your family and then run away. You don't have to do that. Okay, that's the agenda of this video. That suppose you are in a city or you are in a town or you are in a village and you are watching this video and you have certain goals in mind, and then you feel that. Uh, should I move outside of my, like many times uh, people uh, tell me that they are in some city within India or US or anywhere. They want to move to a different country or different location. You know, imagine the level of headache that that involves, you know, like moving to a different country. It's a very big headache. <laughs> you could always say there are opportunities, but the question is, do you need to do that in the first place? Okay. Or sitting within your city can give you success all right that's the agenda of this video or suppose you are already in a developed country in a developed city then then sometimes the opposite can happen if your benefits are not good and your malefics are good then you might have to relocate from a developed country to a developing or underdeveloped country and you might make billions there all right so it goes both ways you might have to leave a developed country and go to a developing country that could also happen or you might have to leave a developing country and go to a developed country okay or maybe you need to stay in your developed country or even within your developing or underdeveloped country you will be successful there also right so once you understand this then you can actually uh, say you can and of course at the end you must check the dashas if you do not check the dashas it's like uh, barbadi it's a waste of time
it's destruction okay so please analyze the horoscopes watch what the natural benefits are telling and what the natural malefics are telling okay and then look at their dashas okay and when you analyze dashas it becomes difficult because sometimes there are contradictions okay so what if your uh, saturn rahu is very good and you are running rahu mahadasha and saturn is next to next and between is jupiter jupiter is not good uh huh so what to do should you tell the person that go to a developed country or a developing it's difficult to judge so then you have to judge the overall horoscope you have to check the other benefits you have to check sun moon mercury venus because their antar dashas within that so called bad jupiter mahadasha can give them good things okay but if they are also weak then that may not be a very good suggestion for the person to move to a developed country okay uh and uh, yeah as per numerology also you can see if you have seven in your birth date like the total you know like uh, 17th july 1977 something like this Now, if you have seven, it is good for settling in developed countries. And if you have four, then uh, one or two times, then it can show problems in developed countries. Okay. So this is some small bits of numerology which I share sometimes. All right. I hope you uh, understood how to approach this topic because it's a very difficult one, and you need a lot of knowledge on uh, the geography and. not literally geography you need to understanding of um, what what exactly the client is asking actually because sometimes they ask something but they think something else you know or sometimes they think something and they ask something so if you actually understand by sitting with the client and looking at the house then you can actually know what's going on okay then it's very easy to check you know in which country which city is there that's not a big problem All right. Thank you very much for your patience. And if you're new to the channel, then please uh, subscribe to it below. And my website for consultations is also down below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him, and you will find Him.